Former Colts head coach Matt Eberflus is going to fill in for Matt Nagy in the Chicago Bears head coach vacancy. And there are a lot of positives, a lot of negatives, a lot of stuff to go over with Matt Eberflus. So I'd like to welcome you guys to the JW Sports Talk Show where every fan is welcome. If you enjoy football content, draft content, all that type of stuff, make sure you like, subscribe, and put the post notification bell on so you don't miss any future videos. So let's get right into the topic. So Matt Eberflus was a very solid defensive coordinator over in Indy for quite some time. You know, he, he, he led some solid defenses, very opportunistic defenses. Um, you know, maybe one, maybe not with the best of talents, but he still found a way to make that defense work at times. So not much edge rush, not much not much um, defense line pres- presence at all until Buckner got there. Not much defensive back presence, honestly, not really. Um, you know, Xavier Rhodes was very good, but outside of that, he, you know, there really wasn't great cornerbacks until this, un- until this, you know, just this past year when the cornerbacks really started to look better. Um, even though, you know, Xavier Rhodes did slow down a bit. You had Rodgers, you had um, that Rocky Sin, he played pretty well. Um, but yeah, Matt Eberflus is a solid hire. He really is. So, so maybe since he's got that defensive line over in Chicago, right? One of his problems in Indy was he 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 would take the the defensive backs really far off in situations where the game was, you know, nearing. You know, you kind of thought the game was over. When you're trying to close a game out, you need to keep the pressure on. Eberflus didn't do that. E- Eberflus got conservative on the defensive side of the ball a lot. So, so is it because of the poor, you know, defensive line play? Because outside of Buckner, there isn't a solid. There isn't a guy that can cons- consistently get after the passer on the Colts, um, and and there wasn't for a while. There hasn't been for a while since Freeney and Mathis. So maybe that was the reason. And the Bears have very good guys in the front. You know, they have Khalil Mack, Quinn. They have some very solid pieces in the front. Um, what's the other guy? Oh, I'm forgetting his name. He's a young linebacker. Uh, what's his name? Roquan Smith. He's another very good guy that can that that can come off the edge, and and who's a solid linebacker as well. So these Bears. So this Bears team has has you know they have some solid linebackers. Defensive back group is not amazing, but but Eberflus has shown the ability to conduct a very good defense even without awesome defensive backs or even you know maybe above average defensive backs. So those are some of the positives. And oh, one more, he has great attention to detail. His detail is amazing. He focuses on the small details. He focuses on that on all that. So that so that's a plus there. So you go to some of the negatives, right? You just drafted a guy. You just traded up for a guy in Justin Fields. So much potential. He's so talented. I would have preferred they went out and got an, an offensive coordinator to help him out. To you know, you know, and this Bears team, the problem has never been defense. Never has been defense. It's always been offense. You go with a, a defensive coordinator. You know, make your strength better. I get it. But when but when you trade up and then you get a guy like Justin Fields for the amount you did, you know you really want to put into everything. You you really want to put put into him the best you can so he can so he can become the best player possible. So you could have gone you could have gone after a guy like you know maybe like Nathaniel Hackett, um, Brian Dable, plenty of guys out there. So you know I'm not thrilled about the Matt the Matt Eberflus signing for the Bears. But as a Colts fan, I'm happy he's gone because, you know, his defenses were very inconsistent at times. You know, there are stretches throughout the season where he's inconsistent. There are stretches throughout games where they're inconsistent. You know, a lot of times defense is good in the first half, bad the second half, and vice versa. Sometimes good in the first quarter, sometimes terrible in the first quarter. This defense always seemed to get off the bad starts, whether it was the first or second half. Um, so so that's something to keep an eye on there. But Matty Bruflus is going to have to bring over some solid coordinators everywhere some solid coordinate co- coordinators all that stuff he's gonna have to bring over some solid guys and the, and, the, and the thing that is you know you know that kind of stinks you know it since he does have to bring you know he's he you know he's gonna really have to bring some solid coordinators right and if that coordinator turns out to be an awesome coordinator he's gonna get offers for head coaching jobs so you know do you really want um your quarterback having to learn new schemes often, you know, why can't just be one? Why can't just be, you know, maybe one and then some, some involvements in the scheme and stuff like that. If you have an, if you had an offensive minded head coach, that wouldn't be an issue. But when you go sign, you know, coordinators now that, you know, that's something, you know, that's a whole nother thing. If coordinators perform very well or above expectations, they often go to other teams and, and try to coach, 
um, in other places at, at a higher level. So, this is really it. All I have on Matt Eberflus. I love him. He's a great person. But as a defensive coordinator, as, you know, a, you know, a defensive coordinator, I, I wasn't loving it. You know, I love that the defense got so many turnovers. Now, the offense didn't help them with once, you know, being not, you know, with once not being so good. But, but you know, I, I think this is a signing for the Bears that has a lot of potential. But that potential may be difficult to be reached, may be difficult to fully fulfill to effectively get done. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for tuning in to the JJW Sports Talk Show, where every fan is welcome. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a great night, great day, whatever time it is. You guys let me know what you think of this Bears hiring, of this, you know, well, you know, just let me know what you think. And then that's going to be it. Make sure you like, subscribe, put the post notification bell on. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.